This video is going to be a little bit different from what I've been making lately. As you can see, squatting actual weights today. I'll get to that. I had a pretty bad day today. I'm very fortunate to be able to say that hasn't happened in a while. That hasn't happened in a while, and so I somewhat see this as a good thing. It's actually good to see what it's like on the other side and know what exactly you're missing out on because in this case it's not much i used to be really depressed when i was in college four years ago at the beginning of the pandemic i was probably at my worst i had made a lot of mistakes i had done a, a lot of awful things actually at that point and i lost some very good friends i lost a i don't know if i would say significant other but i'll say potential love interest that i was seeing at the time and it is all my fault in those cases i was definitely in the wrong the way i operated the actions i took are unacceptable and currently the present me understands that a lot better than i did at the time at the time let me say this i'm not making any excuses for myself i just want to say what happened at the time i was smoking a lot uh nicotine and cannabis i was drinking a lot of alcohol whenever i got the chance and I was in college. I was skipping classes. I was unfaithful to my love interests. I was a huge mess. And I knew it. I knew it at the time. I, I was aware of that. I was so lost in whatever I was doing that I never took the chance, the, the time, to actually assess what I was doing, why I was doing it, and whether or not I should be doing it at all. And only when I was confronted with the direct reality of what happened, which happened to be a punch in the face, literally, or a few, and, you know, places other than the face, that's when I realized that this is not going to work for me. And I put a stop on a lot of things in my life. And for about a year and a half, I was an absolute mess. I'm talking, I tried to quit drinking. I tried to quit smoking. I tried all this stuff for years following that. And I was in such a bad place that I just kept going back. I kept going back. And I found so much comfort in that despair, in that depression. I got so used to being in that state that I thought that that was my baseline. I really did. I thought that my baseline was just down here. This is where things are okay. I was always down here, always just a little worse than I could be. And no matter what I was doing, I was always thinking about a way out. I was always thinking, Okay, yeah, I could uh, buy this substance. Okay, uh, only an hour to go and I could get out of here and smoke. Only two more days and I could get drunk with my buddies over the weekend. Only two exams and I could spend the next two months just wasting away, wasting my life, playing video games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's actually something that I'm really against right now is playing video games. At the time, I was obsessed. I, I grew up with video games. I played them my whole life, and I never thought anything of it. I thought, this is fine. This is normal. And only recently have I really realized that this stuff has been holding me back from going to a whole different level. And still, I could be depressed. I could be. I could be today. I would say I had a bad day and it was like for a little bit, a few hours, I was back 
to where I was before. I couldn't get out of bed today. I could, I chose not to. I was glued to my phone today. Spent way, way, way too much time on my phone. I pretty much wasted away for half the day. It is Saturday, or Sunday actually, Sunday, but still, I, I wasted a lot of time today. I could have been really productive. I don't like that anymore. Before, I, I wouldn't care. I would just push it to the back of my mind, plead ignorance, and somehow find a way to cope with it. Just look for the next escape. When's the next time I could smoke? When's the next time I could drink? When's the next time I could get out of this situation? How can I lie to avoid confrontation? That was always the story with me. And I hate that. I, I really don't like that one bit. But that's the way it was. That was my life. I can make excuses now. I could. I could easily be depressed. I have plenty of things to be depressed about. I'll give you three great reasons. Financially, I'm not where I want to be. Financially, I'd love to be rich, <laughs> right? Like, who wouldn't? But seriously, a lot of my problems right now could be solved if I was in a different financial situation. And I know that's true for a lot of people, but no but. Second, I'm single, right? Nobody really wants to be single. Even these people who say like, I'm asexual, they're still like, yeah, but I got a girlfriend and uh, we're both asexual. Yeah, okay, buddy. Um, not judging, just honestly just kind of talking so don't get offended by anything I say because really it's not personal I'm not targeting you if anything I'm kind of making fun of myself and the way I acted in the past I'm single and very recently I got a glimpse into the life of someone that I was seeing actually during the beginning of the pandemic I really messed up this uh, opportunity that I had with this girl and seeing her now in a relationship that's lasted a few years, seemingly happy, it feels weird. It feels weird. It's like, it's like I could have had something and I was left out. I could have had something and I messed it up. And that wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me at the time. I needed to go through something else to develop. I needed to be alone. Actually, I need to spend some time alone to figure out what am I doing? Why are the people around me getting hurt? Why? And I need to know why am I the cause? Because most of the time I was. When I was seeing that, it was my fault. It really was. And I could have done something about it at the time had I known. And I, I didn't. I didn't do anything. I did not know. I, in many cases, once again, I'll use this term, pleading ignorance, pretended like, hey, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I don't know what's going on. When in reality, if I had just taken a minute to check myself, I know, like, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be going to see this girl. I should not be doing that with that girl. I should not be smoking this, drinking this, uh, hanging out with these people, uh, going to this place or that place, or, you know, you name it. I was a mess. I could have done something better. And, I mean, third reason I could be depressed would be that I'm really not that strong. I've spent so much time in the gym that... Basically, all my results to me are like negligible. Like, if I was a farmer, I could probably be stronger right now. Like, if I was just picking up bags of bales of hay and uh, carrying around, uh, I don't know, lambs and, and chickens and stuff and construction materials, driving a tractor, I don't know. If I was doing that stuff, working with my hands like a, like a serious laborer, then 
I could probably be a lot stronger right now. There's this one guy on YouTube, his channel is Gainer, and he's like 16 or 17. A pretty skinny kid, he weighs like 150 or 60 pounds, and he's squatting like 450 pounds or something. ATG, deadlifting like 500 pounds in high school. I can't relate to that one, one bit, you know? I could be depressed about that all day, but I'm not gonna let that happen. That's not me. That bit of depression that I felt today was like I was back in my body from four years ago. It's like I had nothing going for me. And it took me a long time today to get out of that rut. And I'll tell you right now, the number one thing is just to get up and do something. And it's to do something productive, something that will, you know, honestly, I'll let you decide that for yourself, what productive means to you, because it does mean different things. For me, it could be mowing the lawn. Today it was rainy, it wasn't great weather. I couldn't do anything outside. But I, I had a lot of work to do inside. I got this garage that's still a mess that I gotta spend some time cleaning. I had my room that is absolutely, uh, actually it's good now, but it was absolutely a mess for the past three weeks at least. I mean, literally one week, I've had this vacuum cleaner in the middle of my room Every single day, I walk past it, go to bed, wake up, walk past the vacuum cleaner, spend almost no time in my room, and just pretend like that's normal. And it's not. I've been avoiding cleaning up, and it's really been affecting me. And honestly, that might be the reason why I felt so bad today is because my room is a freaking mess. It was. It's a lot better now. So, how did I go from this point today all the way up to like let's say this is like the baseline i'm like up here right now i feel pretty good well i got some help so i'm gonna say this i love my mother i love my dad i love my family my mom helped me out today she's been telling me to clean my room for a while now and i have just not been on it and she was uh i'll use this word for lack of a better word I don't mean it in any insulting way. She was pestering me today, you know, clean your room. Uh, hey, it's Sunday, you could clean your room. You know, this kind of stuff. Hey, you got some free time, why don't you clean your room? And that's what I wanted to do, but instead I just laid on my bed, looked at my phone, spent a couple hours there, and I don't like that. And it got to the point where I just decided I'm putting my phone away, I'll plug it in the charger, leave it there, and just sit on my floor. Sit on my floor, slowly, I started looking at things. Started, you know, moving things around. Uh, started breaking up the chaos, chopping it up, chop the chaos up. And you should know this, to move from chaos to order, you actually have to kind of increase the chaos. You kind of have to spread it out and when you spread it out and you really get a good look at what's going on, you can then reorganize everything, put everything back in its rightful place, and suddenly out of a big mess, you can get pretty organized. And I got some help too. So my mom, uh, she came in my room. She's like, you need some help? I said, actually, yeah. And sometimes what you need is someone to just tell you, hey, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe not that, but hey, this is what's wrong with you. You gotta clean your room. Do you really need this? No. You really need that? You really need uh, this freaking iHome, Apple iHome from 2009? No, I don't need it. I'll throw that out. And thankfully, I got my room cleaned up today with some help. I got my room cleaned up. Love my mom. Tell your mom you love her. Tell somebody you love them. Get some help from somebody if you need it.
and sometimes you don't even have to search for it sometimes you just need to be in the presence of other people in a positive way be there for them and they'll be there for you usually not always but the people who are really here to help you find them work with them do your best to help them and accept the help that they offer you. My day went from bad to a little bit better, just with some help. Now my room's clean. My mom said, you're probably gonna get the best night of sleep you've gotten in a while, and I think she's right. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. I really was feeling awful today, just, like a bag of dirt, nothing, felt nothing, no love, no gratitude, just absolutely empty. And I know what that feels. I felt that way for a long time. I felt that way for a very, very long time. And I don't want to open up too much today. I know that maybe it'll help somebody if I open up a little bit. I've had a lot of trouble in my life with my personal appearance with my personality even the way i act i've had a lot of trouble dealing with these things understanding who am i as a person how can i live happily i just didn't know i still don't exactly know but i'm on my way and that's really what's important, is that I have the intention of getting better. I have the intention of helping the people around me get better. And part of this channel is, I would say, dedicated to actually helping people see the light that exists in this world, seeing that there really isn't only darkness. There is a lot of light. And ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Something like that. There's a Bible quote or something. Uh, I don't know it too well. Just ask. Ask for help. Ask to help. Do you need any help? Look for the light. It's hard when all you see around you is darkness. In fact, it's uh, maybe near impossible. There are points in my life where if someone had not stepped in, I uh, might not be here today, honestly. I just might not be here today. And so it means a lot to me that someone would be willing to help me. It means a lot because that's changed my life. Every single time someone helps me, it helps, well, it helps me, you know, it helps me. I just take a little step forward. They just give you a little bit of a push. Being someone who can't accept help is actually a really big problem for yourself because you will have so much trouble. It's not easy alone. Just imagine if we lived in a different time. We weren't surrounded by all these technologies, books, architecture. Technologies kind of covers it all. All of these things in the modern world, which make our lives easier, if we didn't have those things, every single day we would be struggling. And in a way, that would give our lives purpose. Being in this modern world, we have to find our own purpose. Because the people before us were so great, so helpful, that they decided this would be their legacy. Build up technologies for the future. 
for my children, for your children, for all everybody's children, so that everyone can grow up with an education, with food on the table, and still we're not at that point. But it seems like we're getting there. I think the future's looking bright. I see all the positivity around me, all the help that I've received, and I really can't help but try to join in on that movement, to try to be a part of that, be a part of something greater than myself, because there are many, many, many things greater than myself. There's many things to work towards. And if I was selfish, more selfish, I, I won't claim to be selfless. I just wouldn't be here. I'd be somewhere else. I'd probably be worse off, probably still feel that same feeling I felt today every single day, every single day. It's not easy. It's not easy living. It's not easy pushing yourself. It's not easy to self-develop. But it is the path forward. It is a path forward, and for me, it's been the path forward. Whenever I take the time out of my day to push myself, get up, get out, get active, that's when things change. Really. Being stuck indoors is... no help to anybody. I'm actually kind of pumped now. I'm pretty pumped. So uh, the squats are, you know, long done, but I just uh, didn't feel good today. And I thought to myself, I'm going to go in the garage. I'm going to try to squat some weights today. I'm going to see if I could do 225. And I sprain my ACL just a month and a half, two months ago. I still feel insecure about my left knee because it, it just feels a little off. It doesn't feel right. I don't like putting too much pressure on it, but I was able to do it. I worked my way up in weights. I felt pretty weak. I haven't squatted any heavy weights in a long time. But I was able to get that 225 for a single. I got some decent depth. Not, you know, perfect ATG, but not bad at all. And that has really put a smile on my face today. I was not feeling good. I was actually really in an awful mood today. Just feeling completely empty. Almost devastated. Just like nothing was going for me. And it came from somewhere. It came from somewhere. And I'm going to send it right back there. I'm not keeping that with me. That energy can go over there. I don't need any of that. I hope you are having a good day. If you're not, you should get up and do something about it. Really, do some push-ups. Push-ups help a little bit. A lot of push-ups help a lot of it. If you do a thousand push-ups, good luck feeling bad. Because you're going to feel a lot of pain. But you're not going to care about how you feel, if that makes any sense. You're not going to care emotionally how you feel. Because you're going to be too preoccupied being exhausted. If you are tired, fatigued, physically just destroyed. You don't have time to think about, woe is me, I'm single, I don't have a six pack, which is not me because I actually do have a six pack. I don't know why I said that. That just makes me sound like a dickhead. Excuse my language. <laughs> woe is me. I am poor. I am single. I'm all alone. And really, you're not. 
and I'm not. And even though, yeah, maybe my life is lacking a little bit of spice, a little bit of love interest right now, that doesn't really mean much in terms of my goals. I still have the same goals. I still have the same things that I'm working towards. I'm still trying to get stronger every single day. I'm still trying to get a little smarter every single day. I'm trying to learn something every single day. I'm progressing a little bit every single day. And sometimes we gotta change things up. I personally have to read a lot more. I have to read a lot more. And I have to use my phone a lot less. And I know that's true for a lot of people. I have many, many, many better ways to spend my time than the way I have been spending it. I have many ways to improve myself that I have been neglecting. It's not only about strength. It's not only about stamina. It's also about personal development. How can I be grateful even in this negative situation? How can I bring light to someone else's day today? How can I bring a smile to somebody's face? What can I do? What can I do? I just make videos on YouTube. What can I do? I could talk about myself a little bit because maybe, just maybe, someone will find a little bit of peace of mind knowing that they're not alone. Yeah, maybe you're not the only one who has uh, lost their mind once or twice. Maybe you're not the only one who has been the villain in someone else's story. Maybe you're not the only one who's made a mistake. Maybe you're not the only one who has self-harmed. Maybe you're not the only one who spent some time in a psychiatric facility. Maybe you're not the only one who spent way too much time in the gym and is still a teeny weeny little pebble instead of the rock. Maybe you're not so alone after all. And you're not, and I'm not, we're not alone. We've got people to help us, and we've got people who want to help us. Really, the first step is to acknowledge that. And from then, we move forward. Once you acknowledge that life doesn't have to always be like this, things can get better. Guess what? Things start to get better, little bit by little bit. And the more you can really realize that intent of positivity, self-improvement, self-development, and also uh, gratitude, helping others, being a part of something greater than yourself, the more you can integrate that feeling, that idea into your own being, the more it comes true. And I've seen that firsthand. And it doesn't work that way for everybody. It doesn't always go quick. Uh, looking back at, you know, the fitness journey I mentioned a little while ago, I've spent over eight years in the gym. I've spent over a decade in the weight room. And I'm still squatting 225. <laughs> Just look at that. I got one rep today. I felt so weak. Yeah, my knee blew up. But still, I don't want to be there. I want to be up here. I want to be squatting 405 like this freaking 16 year old kid who weighs 30 pounds lighter than me. I want to be doing a lot more. Okay, yeah, maybe I look kind of aesthetic, but that's not the only thing I want. It's not all about looks. It's about the full the fur, full circle, full package. We all want it all. And that's something that you got to realize. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to want it all? Maybe it means spouse and a house and the money and the kids and the, I don't know, freaking video games. I would say no to video games, but maybe that's for someone. It's not for me, though. And it's not for a lot of you either. I know that for a fact. 
In fact, most people, it's really, it's really uh, harming out there. It's a big sink. It's a big time sink. But that's a story for a different time. There are ways to get better. There are things you could do. You don't always have to feel depressed. It really is up to you. I could have, I could have today changed my mind. I could have changed my mind. No, I don't feel depressed. And I didn't. I didn't. I needed a little bit of convincing. And thankfully for me, God bless her, my mom was there and she helped me out. She helped me clean my room. She helped me throw some stuff out that I was hanging on to that I really didn't need to. And that is a huge help. I love you, mom. I don't think she's going to see this video, but it's good to put that out there. I tell her, but it's also good to tell the world. I'm not ashamed of that at all. I'm not ashamed to say that I love my dad either. Love you, dad. And really, I kind of lost my train of thought with this one, but I hope that you got something out of it. I know that I did. I kind of just wanted to get this off my chest today because I honestly was feeling pretty awful. And I know that that's a bad place to be. It's not a good feeling. And there's a lot of people who are probably in a similar position. And I hope that, honestly, I don't really want too many people to watch this video because I don't like bringing light to my own problems. I don't like being bringing light to my own struggles because in a way there is a sense of shame or guilt that I've associated with that. And yet at the same time, I know that bringing light to it is really the only way I could heal from this stuff. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching. I will be back with some more squats tomorrow. Bye.